Hi there and welcome back into this tutorial. Into this tutorial we are going to give continuation to what we have created in the last video. So we are going to finish the dialogue system for our NPC. Yeah, now as you can see I am your friend, I am your enemy or just leave. But not updating, I need to do that. So for that I need to create the options when we leave. But first I think I am going to not. Here, in our event grab, I'm going to just be selecting our first option button and then select event on click it. I'm going to be doing the same for the second option on click it and for the third option button on click it. And basically what I don't should do is to start, yeah, I think for this, I am going to be calling an event in the NPC itself. So. I have a reference for our NPC, yeah I have. So I'm going to have an event that's going to be called Decision. So just uh, custom event and Decision is going to be the name. This is going to, let's create a new variable, that's going to be our E, e underscore player options. This is going to be the num. so let's just select it over here. And this is going to receive an input that's going to be the E underscore player options. And this is going to be the decision, actually, player decision compiler. Now get these play options over here. I'm going to be setting it to this. So, actually, let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is updating. Uh, yeah, it's one second. Yeah, it should not be like that. Let's just make it single. Compile it. Yeah, like that. Now just set it over here and then into this value. And then I'm going to make another custom event over here. That's going to be for the consequences of this decision. But I'm not going to be dealing with that now, right now. And basically here. I am going to be calling that event, so just first get our NPC, make a cast. All these casts can also be done through interfaces if you want. It will take a little bit longer, but you would save a little bit of performance. And then I'm going to just be getting that event, that is the decision. And for the first one, it's going to be for the first option. I'm going to be doing the same for the other ones. Like that. So this one's going to be for the third option, second. And that's pretty much it. Now here, I need to deal with the consequences of that. Uh, first thing that's going to do is to change the text for, for our NPC player reply, our NPC underscore reply text. Uh, I, not sorry, how would be the best way for this? I think I'm going to just be getting this a play options and I'm going to be getting a switch on player options like that. So for the first option, actually, I think the third option is going to be a little bit different. Basically, is over here where you're going to be placing the logic for each option that your player is going to select. The first and the second option for me is going to be the same. It's going to only be updating the text. But here you could call events. You could call events to chase your player or to attack your player or things like that. Um, but I think for this, I'm going to be setting the reply text to another. I think I'm going to be creating another array for the replies. Yeah. Uh, and you can also create an event to be updating these arrays in your NPC. Uh, based on a behavior tree or something like that. But here, I think I'm going to just be getting our NPC underscore, uh, let's say, um, consequence reply. And this is going to be a text and it's going to be an array. So it's going to be three. The first one is going to be, I think the first option was I am your friend. So it is going to be uh, good to know. Uh, I am not going to fight you. And the second one is going to be, I am going to fight you. The third option, since it's going to be leaving without saying anything, I think that I want to just be get 
uh, our NPC calling our player coward or something like that. And then I'm going to be getting from this. I am going to get index. Actually, it's integer to integer like that. Get player text. I'm going to be setting this reply. I'm going to be setting this over here. Uh, actually, from this, I could, I could get our NPC, this NPC consequences, and I could get just type get a reference, and then I would get this integer over here. I'm going to be using that. And the result from that is going to be the text that I'm going to be setting. So I'm going to be calling this over here. Actually, now that I think about I think I'm going to be creating another event. So yeah, I'm going to create another custom event. This one is going to be for update NPC reply. And then I'm going to be getting this part over here. Pop this. Pop this, place it here, because it's going to be the same for everything over there. So I don't need to be doing these things multiple times for each one. So just place it here and into here. So for the first one, I'm going to be, for the first and the second one, I'm going to be only be updating the reply. So just get update and see reply here and then here. And actually for the, the other ones going to be also that, but it's going to have more events after that. So this should be able to update that reply. I actually need to set that. So in order to set this event to update the reply, I am going, let's see what would be the best way. I think I'm going to be calling the event here in our y underscore talk to update the reply. Yeah, I think I'm going to be calling that event. But I need to call that event through our third person character. So just get the layout character. Then I'm going to cast to BP underscore third person character. And then I'm going to get Y underscore talk. And I need to make another cast to just cast to BP actually Y underscore talk. Double cast for this. And then over here it is update reply. So just get update reply. Like so. Compile save it. So now should be able to update the reply. Let me test this out. So let's say if I select I am your friend. And it's not updating for some reason. Let me see what is the problem. Um maybe it's not getting into here. Mm, let's see. Let's see if it is getting to this event. I'm not sure if I am really calling it there. I'm calling the event decision. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not calling the event consequences over here. So just get consequences. Compile it. Now should be working. And it's not for some reason. The problem is actually very simple. I just forgot to place the reference for our NPC over here. So here in our update reply, I'm going to just get a reference for self, compile it, and now should be working. As you can see, I am our friend, is going to be dating with your text. I am going to fight you and leave coward. But now I need to, I think I'll just to serve our as an example, I'm going to show how you can create logic from this. So here, for our last option, let's say I want to leave the chat or something like that. Uh, I think I have not created that option for our end overlap, but I'm going to be doing that now. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is to, let's say, uh, first I need to make a cast. So let's just get cast to our third person character. And then I think I'm going to be getting a delay, but yeah, I'm not going to be setting the delay over there. So I'm going to be getting... So I could create an event over here to end the talk, and I think I'm going to be doing that. Yeah, so over here, just create a custom event that's going to be end talk. And this event is going to basically get a white talk, and then remove from parent. Just like that. Compile it, save it. And over here, I'm going to be getting that event. 
like that compile it save it should be good i need to make a few more things uh so here in this event i was uh need to disable our mouse cursor and also uh, set this to false so i'm going to just be copy this part pasting it over here disable this and this compile it save it now in our bp npc uh over here the first thing for the third option first thing i'm going to be doing is to set a delay why i'm setting this delay uh, that's because i want our player to be able to see the text before closing that so let's say a delay of 1.5 seconds and then the custom event that should be actually uh, how it was i could make another custom event to just get into here or I could call this again uh i think the best way would be to make a custom event so here i'm not going to create another custom event that is to end talk place it over here so i'm going to be breaking this link pasting it here and then oops uh that was not supposed to be placed over there and then over here in the end of our lap i'm going to get our own talk and then here i'm going to get the talk as well compile it save it let's see it is on our game so if i approach our our npc i'm going to talk with our npc uh, and i could let's say if i select less option i'm going to be called a coward and i'm going to be leaving and of course if i also get closer over here and i go away the that the interaction is going to go away as well. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for our tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll into this course to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.